Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm, wait, is it recording? Yes. <laughs> So today I'm going to take you inside my fridge. I delayed doing this video for a long time because I was like, I'm going to clean out the fridge, it's going to look nice, blah blah blah, but you know what, you guys like it when I'm real with you anyway, so this is what my fridge is like every day normally. I don't, I haven't cleaned this in a few months, so I, I don't think it's grimy, I don't remember it being grimy, but we'll see. So I'm going to take you into my fridge. So before I start, I just want to let you guys know that even though Eddie, is ve or Eddie isn't vegan while I'm vegan, our home is a strictly vegetarian home. Um, right now I think we're vegan completely, but sometimes he has cheese. He hasn't had cheese in a while here, so. And I'll also take you through my freezer, but my freezer isn't that exciting, plus it's not very well lit, so I might just like be holding up random bags of stuff that I have because I don't know we'll see so let's get right into it actually before I get into the the and into the fridge I really want to show you guys what's on my fridge um, if you guys can see the magnets these are these I got from Ottawa comic-con this is Sailor Moon this is Captain Hammer and this is uh, Dr. Horrible. They're from an Etsy shop and I can link them down below. Uh, and she also did these magnets these are uh, from the Legend of Korra so this is Sokka, or this is actually from Avatar. This is Sokka, Toph, and then I have Mako and Bolin. Mako and Bolin, oh my god, I can't remember. And then Tenzin. And then I have Star Trek, the emblem, and then a Harry Potter shield. And then I really love Hello Kitty, and this is from New Year's. And this is a picture of um, my friends from when we went up to CN Tower. I have an Apocalypse Now uh, magnet, which is a bakery slash pizza place. Um, in Toronto, which I love to get pizza from. This is from Yuma, Arizona, when I went to Natural Delights, which is like a date farm company, um, and then just like a timer that doesn't work. And then my little brother, little brother, and then my cousin. So, so let's take you inside. I don't know if this will be good. So I guess let's start with the door stuff. Let's start, I guess, over here. I have some miso paste. You guys have seen me use this before. It's just white miso paste. I like to use the mild sodium one, but miso paste. And then I have gochujang. I have two different kinds of curry paste, which is Penang curry paste and red curry paste. I feel like the lighting is pretty not great, but you, you guys don't need to see my face. Over here I have some other sauces. Uh, this is some chutney some jalapeno relish, more chutney, and then mango puree. I actually don't really drink this. I've just had this in my fridge for like a year because my brother stayed with me and he likes this stuff. Up here I have some vegan shortening. They actually discontinued this, so this isn't really an option anymore. But it's the same company that does the vegan butter, like the butter sticks. This is some Lush face masks, which are very expired. I have some vegan butter. Some people have been asking me what kind of butter I use. Because I'm cheap, I just use the vegan base cell butter. I've been trying to find a better alternative because uh, they use palm oil and I want to find something that's better, but I haven't found that yet, so I'm still using that for now. I have some vegetarian hoisin sauce, some wee maple syrup, this is more decorative than it is functional. Hemp hearts, this is not vegan, but this is Eddie's ranch dressing. I've been making vegan ranch dressing, so we've been using that. I've got a giant thing of ketchup, because ketchup is delicious. Salad dressings. So this one's a Catalina one and sweet onion. I actually don't really eat salad that much, so I don't use this. This is more for Eddie. Some olives. I have some new ketchup. The company just came by and brought this today, actually. Good food for good. This is their spicy ketchup, and this is their regular ketchup, but it's sweetened with dates and it's not sugar, and it's like a certain number of proceeds from their profits go towards uh, animal welfare, I think it is. I can't remember exactly, but I think they're a Toronto company. So yeah, handmade in Toronto. So that's pretty cool. Frank's hot sauce. You guys have seen us use this many times before. This one's actually like almost empty. So we need to get a new one soon. Mustard, sriracha, because sriracha is life. Black chia seeds, white chia seeds, dry active yeast. And I have some cacao nibs, whole flax seed, which I grind up and then put in this container. Ah, so I grind them in like little small batches. And this is what I use for egg replacer. Vegan Caesar dressing. Fermented garlic chili sauce paste stuff. I don't know if it'll focus, but that's what that is. Dijon mustard, and I have the hottest sauce. This is Eddie's. Eddie really likes hot sauce. You're gonna find that in a second, that we have a lot of hot sauce. Uh, so, like I said, I didn't clean this. This is like what my fridge looks like on the everyday. This is uh, turmeric pills. Um, this is what I take every day for my eczema, um, it's just literally like turmeric rolled into 
the balls and I take that, I take about 10 of those a day. I have some pumpkin puree left over from a couple weeks ago. I need to use this soon, otherwise it's gonna go bad. But basically it's just like a pumpkin roasted and pureed. This is Eddie's sister's zucchini relish. Um, it's like kind of sweet. It's like a family recipe, so we haven't used it yet, but that's there. I have a desiccated lime that's just sitting outside. I have tahini, I have some jerk seasoning. I don't know what this is. What are you? Oh, it's may it's garlic mayo that I made. This is actually bad. I'm probably gonna throw this out. Like I said, this is this is real talk. Uh, an old apple that uh, is molding, so I'm just gonna <laughs> throw that out. Eddie's orange juice. A barbecue sauce. This is Eddie's honey habanero barbecue sauce. Again, not vegan, but that's because it's his hot sauce. I have a uh, silk creamer for coffee. More hot sauce. Some vegan yogurt, which I haven't been eating. Some tofurkey sandwich meat. Here I have a water filter. Some soy milk. Farmhouse culture gut shots. There's just like probiotic. It just tastes, it's basically like sauerkraut juice. That's what it tastes like. And I'm trying to take more uh, probiotics for my skin. It's helping so far. I've only taken it for a couple days and like I, I don't have any breakouts, so that's good. Pitted and spicy olives. This is probably moldy, but some old pasta sauce that I forgot about in the back of the fridge. Um, I always keep a thing of coconut milk upside down in my fridge for whenever I want to make like coconut whip. I said that really weird. Coconut whip. Um, so you just basically take like the, the solids of it and then whip it with a little bit of icing sugar and it's delicious. I have some mushrooms, some um, pan fried chickpeas, some leftover vegan chicken pot pie. That's a recipe that I'm working on. Vegemo, old kombucha that I need to throw out. I'm pretty sure this is just like one pickle left in this jar. This is some silk almond milk. This is for Eddie because I can't drink this. More maple syrup. This is like the stuff that we actually use and not just the little decorative, ah, decorative bottle. Like more hot sauce basically in this back here. And then I have a thing of low sodium Kikkoman um, soy sauce. This is what I use for sushi. So I refill, I have this like little bottle that I usually refill. Um, then I have some Daya cheese. So I have the vegan pepper jack stuff and the cheddar stuff. Some tofu, which is actually from Soul Cuisine. I use this for my demo um, at the Veg Food Fest. So we have some leftover Daya cheese that I just put in like a container because I'm trying not to use any more plastic bags. Some hummus, spinach. This is like vegan fish sauce. Um, I have a recipe. I've shown you guys this recipe a bunch of times before. This is a very awkward, I guess I'm just gonna squat. Okay, that's what's happening. Oh good. Uh, so this is some vegan fish sauce that I have. Um, I have the recipe down below if you want to use it. I just put it on like rice, on noodles. Um, I use it as a dip for spring rolls. These are Eddie's sweet pickles. I don't really like sweet pickles that much and I use it sometimes if I want to make relish. Then I have, um, this is for my mom because I bought this when I wanted to bake at her house and then she just doesn't use this. So she's had, she has this giant um, thing of flaxseed. So it's just ground flaxseed. A bunch of dates. So I have like a regular box of normal dates. Then I have some date rolls that I actually have not eaten at all. Peanut butter. Vegan mayo and jam. Um, so I have some parsley, limes, a bunch of apples. I have a lot of carrots. I thought I didn't. I thought I didn't have carrots, so I got my friend to bring me a bag when we were working on a recipe. Then I actually have more carrots, so I have a lot of carrots. Some romaine lettuce, celery, two potatoes and some kale. As you can tell, the bottom of my fridge is a little messy. So that's basically all that's in my fridge. Um, I will also do a pantry video soon. My, my pantry is actually dirty, so I'm gonna clean it a little bit before I show you guys, but it's gonna be the same sort of thing. It's gonna be very real, very messy. It's just gonna be like, I have some like ground pepper that's like all over the shelf, so I just wanna like wipe that down before I show you guys in my pantry. Oh, I should show you what's in my freezer. Okay. This is our freezer. This is the biggest freezer I've ever had. So this is a bunch of frozen fruit. I have some uh, frozen waffles. I have some gravy left over from these cutlets. So I have frozen strawberries, frozen watermelon, acai berry packs, frozen blueberries from when I went picking over the summer. There's pineapple, ice. Then I have some frozen chicken pot pie, um, vegan obviously. 
when I was experimenting. More frozen blueberries, frozen corn from the summer, frozen peas, garden burgers, field roast sausages, frozen lemongrass that I've had forever, uh, frozen edamame. Obviously these are all frozen, I should just stop saying frozen, I'm stupid. Edamame. Then this is my compost bag. I just keep things in the freezer so they don't rot. Ground round, sausages, what's this? Burgers, pierogies, okay, I'm sorry. My freezer's yelling at me. I have um, vegan breaded chicken strips, cherries, more ice cream, aquafaba that I froze into like cubes, more chicken pot pie, vegan whip, lemongrass, lemongrass and garlic. I have a video for this that you guys can check out if you wanna see what I do with that. Vegan sausages, a tofurkey roast, a bunch of ice packs, and I have some chili that I kept keep frozen. So that is it for what's in my fridge and my freezer. I mean, we have basically all I need to do like any kind of throw in together recipes. I'll probably be doing like a clean out my fridge recipe sometime soon because there's just random bits and bobs in my fridge that just need to be cleaned out. That's about as full as I like to keep my fridge at a time. I find that when I have a lot of things in my fridge, I kind of get overwhelmed and I forget and things get pushed to the back, like this pasta sauce. That's basically it. If you guys have any questions or if you enjoyed this little peek into my fridge, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and uh, let me know in the comments what else you wanna see. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye.